Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm sharing one of my go-to crock pot recipes. Today I'm making Taco Ranch Chicken Chili. I love this chili on a cold night, and I especially love that it's quick and easy to throw together. And most of all, I love the toppings. This recipe is definitely a crowd pleaser, so stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Okay friends, so taco ranch chicken chili is perfect to throw together when you're short on time because you don't have to do very much chopping and none of these items have to be pre-cooked. You really just throw it in the crock pot and it does its thing. And of course, before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like easy crock pot recipes. Now let's get started. Today I'm using about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And these are actually still frozen, that's totally fine. You don't have to thaw them out first. I'm also using lots of beans in this chili. First I'm gonna use two cans of these organic chili beans in sauce. So these have some spices in there as well, they're very tasty. Then I'm also using one can of cannellini beans, which are basically white kidney beans. Next, I'm going to use one can of mild Rotel tomatoes. These are tomatoes and green chilies. I'm using the mild, but if you'd like, you can use the spicy ones. You're also going to need about a third of a cup of taco seasoning. You could make your own, you could use low sodium, or store-bought is just fine. And the same goes for the ranch seasoning. You could make your own, or use the store-bought stuff. And this is about a quarter cup. And finally, I'm going to add one medium onion to the chili as well, and I'm going to finely dice it. And you also might want some salt and pepper to taste. And now for the toppings. You could add some green onion or some cilantro. That would be delicious. You could also do some avocado, some freshly squeezed lime juice. I really like tortilla chips and cheddar cheese on mine. And of course, a big dollop of sour cream. Time to get cooking. I'm gonna start by prepping my onion. Now I'm actually gonna use my handy dandy chopper here to make sure my onion is very finely diced. I'm actually gonna cook this chili on high for just four hours, so I wanna make sure that my onions cook completely through. I do not want crunchy onions in my chili. I always get a lot of questions about my chopper, so I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. But if you don't have one, no worries. You can go ahead and just finely dice it with your knife. But I really like my chopper. Not only does it make it fast and easy, but all of the onions end up nice and uniform and very professional looking. Which, to tell you the truth, I'm not very good at with a regular knife. And as an added bonus, it also keeps my eyes from getting all watery from the onion. And just like that, perfectly cut onion. So now I'm gonna set my onions aside and start opening up all of my cans. Now when it comes to the chili beans, you definitely do not need to drain those. And the same goes for the Rotella tomatoes. You don't have to drain them at all. But I am gonna go ahead and drain my white beans. I suppose you don't have to, but that's just how I do it. Now all you have to do is add everything to the crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken first. This is about two pounds, and since I'm using my beautiful Zaycon fresh chicken, that's only three pieces. Up next, I'm going to sprinkle all of the taco seasoning and the ranch powder, followed by the finely diced onions, the chili beans, both cans, and the can of cannellini beans. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes, and about one cup of water. Now if you like your chili on the thicker side, you may wanna add just half a cup. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir. I wanna make sure that the chicken is completely submerged so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna place my lid on my crock pot and set it to cook on high for four hours or until the chicken is completely cooked and shreddable. The next step is to go ahead and remove the chicken from the crock pot. I like to just put it in a separate dish and shred it up. And for this, I like to keep kind of larger chunks of chicken and not completely shredded. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my shredded chicken back into the crock pot and stir it up. And now would be a good time to test for seasoning, just to see if you want any more salt or pepper. I ended up adding just a little more salt to mine. Then once it's cooled down enough, you can dig in. To mine, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shredded cheddar cheese. 
some sour cream, plenty of tortilla chips and green onions, and my favorite part is to add a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. This really adds a nice brightness to the dish. Okay friends, now if you'd like to see more easy crockpot recipes, you can do that by clicking right up here. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.